welcome back to my channel my name is patience if you're new here thanks for stopping by if you've been around here for a while i appreciate your support today we're going to be doing a h&m slash fall haul and then i have a little bit of mango a little bit of asos a little bit of everything in this video but the goal is to help you transition your fall wardrobe before we get started as always let me address what i'm wearing because i know you guys are going to ask this dress is from H&M, it's super cute. It's off the shoulder, mind you, it doesn't come with this. This is my bra, I just put it underneath because to me, it, gave it, it makes it look more edgy. And then this is a belt, I have for a while, I got it from the thrift store. And the dress is pretty transparent, so I suggest you put like a ship or something under it because you don't want your business in the streets, okay? <laughs> so, and today the ship wear I'm wearing, I'm gonna leave it down below, it's from Spence. That's all about this look. The earrings I have for a few years. I believe I purchased it from H&M like a few years ago. Now let's get started. As always, I like to tell you guys that I live in Phoenix. So my idea of fall and your idea of fall, it might be a little different. Currently, it's still almost 100 degrees in Phoenix. So I purchased these pieces based on my weather. However, I'm going to try to style it in a way that is beneficial to you. Now let's get started. I'm going to start with a few accessories that I'm loving. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen this bag multiple times. It's a structural black bag. It's in my favorite color. Hint, hint, black. <laughs> I am obsessed with black, guys. Like, black to me, you can never go wrong with black. But the bag is so cute. I can't wait for us to start going back to the office for me to be able to use it as a white work bag. It has enough storage so that way I can put tons of stuff in here. And it's really cute and I believe this was under 30 I will leave all the link down below in the description bar and if something is not available I'm gonna try my hardest to find the alternative link but this bag if I was to wear it I wear it with this dress and then if you follow me on Instagram you know that I'm obsessed with sunglasses because honestly guys I don't like messing with my bras it's always all over the place and to me when you wear a glasses you don't have to do your brows or you don't have to do a lot of makeup so that is what I usually wear sunglasses for. But tell me, how is this look? Oh my goodness, when you walk out in this look, everybody's gonna think like you're really in money. But honestly, sis, you're on the budget, okay? <laughs> so that is that. And the sunglasses is from a local store in my area. It was, I believe, $2.99 or so. The next bag that I'm gonna be discussing, this one, when I saw it on the website, I saw a blogger with this, I forgot her name. It's so cute. Of course, this is a designer dupe, but when I purchased it from Mango, I don't like the size. It's so little, but it is amazing. It's well made. I love it, but it's just this size that I have a problem with. I envision this when I'm like at some type of resort in Phoenix in a white maxi dress, living my best life, sitting by the pool. Sis, I'm one of those girls. <laughs> so this is why I bought it, but I'm gonna keep it because. I like the style, I just don't like the size. The next thing that I'm gonna be giving, a lot of you guys on my Instagram seems to love this braided heel. I believe it's two inches, it's super cute, it's so comfortable, it is still available on the site, and it was, I think, $35, and I really like it. The next piece that I'm gonna be discussing are these designer dupes. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. I purchased it in multiple color. If I like something around here, I always buy it in multiple color. I just love it, especially this chocolate brown. Oh my God, it's giving me life. It was under $25 and it's from ASOS. That's all the accessory I have for you guys. Now let's move on to the outfit. If you look at my rack, I'm pretty sure you got to have a sense of my style. I would say my style is pretty minimum. I barely wear color. So if you're a minimalist girl and you stay away from color, this is the perfect channel for you. Just hit the subscribe button. Like, we are going to be besties. I see it. <laughs> the first look that I'm going to be discussing is this baby doll cream dress. It is so pretty. I wore it on Instagram. A lot of you guys seem to love it. I'm wearing the Sars Large. And I just love it. In the past, honestly, I have to admit, I was never really a fan of baby doll dresses because I feel like it make you look very youthful. But this one, 
surprisingly it fits very well and it looks very good on especially when you're a tall girl i'm almost 5'9 so i try to buy pieces that is going to look good on my height and on my body type again i'm going to start this right here and show you guys how i wear this that is the first piece the next piece another baby doll dress but this time it has the balloon sleeves oh i am obsessed with this dress i have worn it so many times on my Instagram. I even did a tech talk video in this dress. I did a reels in this dress. This dress is like my favorite fall staple. It's not for fall, but for fall you can dress it up with an over the knee boots, or you can do a booties. You can put a oversized trench coat on the top just to make it look more fall friendly. But I love it, and to me, leopard print is neutral, so you can start this with. A black or a nude heel or if you're very risque you can actually put in a pop of color you can do red well that's not for me but you could do red <laughs> so the next piece I'm going to discuss is this dress that I'm wearing this is the longer version and this is the shorter version I love this one so much I envision this with an over the knee boots and this blazer am I giving you guys the look it's so perfect today. I can't wait to style these pieces. I'm gonna show you guys how I style it again. It's so cute. It stopped right above my knee. And again, it's off shoulder. It was pretty inexpensive. I believe this is $20. If it's not available on the site, I'm gonna find an alternative piece for you guys. And I just mentioned the blazer. The blazer is from H&M. It is a plaid blazer, it is oversized. I purchased it in the extra large because to me, the blazer needs to be oversized just in case you want to layer it. That way it fits properly. But if I also wear it, this is how I wear it. And of course you can put nude under this. You can put all black under this. You can do all white under this. But I like to keep it neutral around here. You know black or white. <laughs> but it is so cute, it's oversized. And if you're looking for a plaid blazer this season, it's definitely in for four. I suggest you check out H&M. And again, I am going to leave all the item links down below so that way it's easier for you guys to shop. The next item I'm going to be talking about, it is this shoulder pad muscle tee. Everybody is wearing this. Oh my goodness, I purchased it in two color. I purchased it in the black and the brown. The black is dirty. <laughs> somewhere because I have worn it so many times but it is so cute oh my goodness I love it especially the chocolate brown color envision this just ladies just um this with the full leather jeggings slash pants from H&M these two together don't they look so chic oh my goodness this is the look I have wore it but I haven't posted a picture yet because I wanted to do this video first but I'm gonna post the picture right after this video so head over to Instagram style, style with patience style with patience and see this look how I put it together but this look is from mango I love mango pieces because to me the quality is very equivalent to Zara and especially for this tee being that I'm gonna wear it multiple times I want it to be of good quality and then, of course, I'll talk about this leather pants. It's full leather. This is a size 29. It is so cute. It's high-waisted. So, ladies, it's going to cover that muffin top or anything that you're trying to conceal in your midsection. And I really like this. It fits amazing. For this pants, I do not believe you should size up. You should stay true to your size. And then the next piece that I'm going to be discussing is this I think this is like a greenish nude. It's not nude. It's not brown. It's like one of those in-between colors. It's an oversized blazer. Again, the size is extra large, and I'm obsessed with it. I have so many blazers. Between a blazer and a pencil skirt, to me, you can never have enough blazer, especially because of my job. Sometimes I used to get dressed for work, but now that I work from home, I'm living in PJs. <laughs> But this blazer is so cute. Imagine you can just throw this on with like a maxi dress. You can wear it with like an all black outfit. It is just so chic and I'm here for the color. And I will try it on so you guys can have an idea of how the extra large look on me. 
And of course, you want to roll up the sleeves. Like, it is so cute. And if you want to do something different, you can. I'll take the belt off the dress. And then put it on the blazer. Out of sunglasses. Oh my God, this look. Ah, I am in love. It is everything. Now I need a, a bag. Maybe this one. Oh, ladies, 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 this look. I'm going to take a picture right after this video, but I think it's so cute. I think, what do you guys think? I think it's so cute. It looks so good together. You're going to look like a boss babe walking down the street. Like, it's not expected because it's like a maxi dress and a blazer and a belt, but it's still cute and I really like it and I'm here for it. So that is all the pieces I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to link everything down in the description bar. Keep in mind those links are affiliation links and I do appreciate it if you use my link to shop these pieces. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you guys later. Now that I have this off it, I feel like I need to go get a cocktail. I'm feeling myself, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys.